Y'all know what's going on. It's time for another episode of Doing Time with Joe. I'm your host, Joe Baker. Look here, before I get started with this episode, I want to let you know about a new book that's coming out called Rivals that me and Boo, you know what I'm saying, we collaborated on. It's based on true events about the episodes that I did on my podcast about a father and son that was in rival games, man. It's coming out August the 1st. I hope that y'all support it, man. It's going to be $20. Uh, check that thing out, man. It's way more in detail and in depth than the episodes on on the podcast, so I think you're going to enjoy it, but let me get to this episode now, you know, about folks, you know what I'm saying, we're running numbers in the penitentiary, right, a lot of times, man, you know, money causes problems with family members, you feel me, and uh, the, the folks is no exception, you know what I mean, and that's what happened when I uh, found out that LJ and Big Mac, you know what I'm saying, were not paying uh, people their money to hit the tickets, you know what I'm saying, they admitted it, right, without a problem, right, but it exposed a, a crack in the game that we had, you know, something that was running so smoothly, you know what I'm saying? It exposed that, you know what I'm saying, even when you have something good going on that some brothers, even if it's that their idea, they want to get greedy, you know what I'm saying, with the business. They agreed to all the terms of it. They brought this to the fam, and me representing the fam as the head of it, you know what I'm saying, on the particular compound that we were on, uh, I made it, I stamped it, you know what I'm saying, and they were cool with it, and now they don't even agree with the terms that they laid down, right, and I'm going to show you how they got a little bit more shystier and tried to bring the whole thing down, right, but uh, sit back, relax, y'all, and enjoy this show, you feel me? Now look here, check it out, now that I had gotten things straightened out with LJ and Big Mac about, you know what I'm saying, some of the peons on the compound hitting and winning uh, numbers and not getting paid, I got all that straight, they admitted everything, right? Now, I had another threat that was looming. I didn't even realize it for about a month. You know, I started to notice that the numbers were going down on the on the, the amount of money that we were splitting every day, right? Because we had gotten up to almost $1,000 a day with the number of tickets that they were bringing in, you know what I'm saying, based off of, you know, uh, the, 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 the the brothers running, running the numbers and stuff like that and making sure that they're collecting out of each unit. We're getting, like I say, commissary. We're getting green money. You know what I'm saying? In some cases, you know what I'm saying? We might get uh, somebody that might have ordered a brand new pair of shoes, a brand new sweatpants or shorts and stuff like that. We might even get clothing items, you know what I'm saying, for whatever dollar amount it was. Everybody gambling, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we really need Gamblers Anonymous up in this thing, you know what I'm saying, because people are risk takers in here. Y'all know that. You feel what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm going to get back to the story. But here's the thing. When I started to notice the number, well, my treasurer noticed it first, and he came to me because he's giving me a report every month and this particular day we sat down he was like well the little stuff gotten a little slower i said well when did it start he said uh it's been going on for about three weeks now but i noticed it and it hasn't picked back up i'm like so it's holding steady at the drop he was like yeah i said that's weird i said what do you think it could be he said well i'm hearing that it's somebody else on the compound running numbers i'm like who who else would try to run numbers against us when we've been doing good and everybody been getting treated fair and even when there's problems, we straighten them out. And he was like, I don't know, man. Everybody keeping that close to their vest. They ain't really saying who's behind. I said, you think it's Vice Lords, Crips, Bloods, something like that? Every nation, anything like that? He was like, folks, look, again, I don't know. I don't know. So I get my chief of security, right? I said, look, man, I need you on the low to find out who our competition is, man. I said, because we're going to snuff them out. We're not finna even put up with that. He said, uh, that ain't no big deal to find out. He said, man, uh, I've been hearing that uh, LJ and Big Mac, they've been running tickets on the side. I said, I'm sick of them. I said, this ain't making no sense, man. I said, first they try to skim money by not paying people that's hidden, and now they're trying to start their own operation thinking, you know what I'm saying, that we wasn't going to find out about it. He was like, man, I ain't know what was going on because I know they were doing their own thing because they're not supposed to be uh, taking up tickets. But we got you know, some of the younger brothers doing that, that's going to each unit. But now I've seen them doing it. I ain't think nothing of it. I'm thinking that's part of the business until what y'all telling me that the numbers is running low. So they ain't been turning in none of those. So I said, well, who are they getting on the outside to run it for them? Because they can't be getting folks now because I done already locked them out on that. He said, man, you know LJ and Big Bang been around a long time. They know everybody somewhere. You know what I'm saying? 
somewhere they got some kind of connection. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no problem for them to lock in with somebody anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's dealing with this money. I said, bet that. So they done took the blueprint that we all put together and presented to somebody else out there on another deck. And now they've running it. And at the end of the day, this ain't good for us, man, because unless we intend on getting out, eventually they'll take over, man, because they can build their own little crew of people that ain't even the folks to go start collecting numbers. And then here we go. I said, man, go get them fools, man. Go get them fools. And this time we're not finna play with them. So they step up. We got them and stuff in the room. I'm talking to them. I said, bro, we ain't finna even play about this. I said, man, y'all running tickets, man. Is y'all running your own little thing? Man, they're like, nah, we ain't doing nothing like that. I said, that's what is the word around the compound. They were like, who? I said, man, I ain't finna get into all that, man. I ain't finna get into all that. The numbers is going down on the number of tickets we got coming in and all this and that. The money is getting lower than what it usually be. And it looks like somebody has got, you know what I'm saying, their own operation going on. Or these people just quit playing numbers. Which one is it? Which one is it? I'm like, I don't know. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But we ain't running nothing. That's what both of them are saying, right? I'm like, okay. I sit down. You know if we find out that you lying in here. You know what it is, right? Look here. So this is check this out, dog. This is when they get up, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, when you're dealing with the folks, you can't be responding in no meek way. So they stand up and say, folks, you, you calling me a liar? I'm like, yeah, put it on some. And he said, on GD, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I said, okay. I said, you put it on that, man, then I'm going to step back. I apologize. Thousand pounds, folks. But if you lying and you don't put this on the hood, on Hoover, not the hood, but on Hoover, you don't put this on Hoover that you telling the truth, you know what the consequences is, right? You know what it is, right? Yeah, I know what it is. And then he did it again on Larry, man. It's on Larry, man. I said, all right, that's what's up. It's on Larry. I can't say nothing else. Zip it. It's over with. But you know what I did? I told my COS, man, find out for sure, one way or the other, man. Because if I'm wrong, I'm going to apologize again. But if I'm right, they got to go. And I ain't talking about no, they got to go, man. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't talking about to the whole, they got to go. I don't want them being the folks no more, nothing. They done stood in here, presented us with a, a plan to get money. We getting money now. They want all the money. Now they competition, it looks like. And then they lying. If they lying about that, they can't be trusted, period. I don't care nothing about them being older. I like to respect my elders. You know, I always have done that. But if they playing games and popping games because they think they can get away with it because we young, we coming hard, we're going to show them what you for do for you. That's what we're going to do. So my COS, he had to be in there. He like a greyhound too, y'all, when he get on something, right? Dog on the bone, he ain't going to let go until he find out what's going on, right? So he looking, he asking, and this and that. He lying. He got folks in them going to him, trying to put in tickets. He trying to do all it. He trying to get them to expose their hand, right? He can't find out nothing. So after about three or four days, he's like, man, I don't know, folks. They might be telling the truth. Then I go back to the treasure. I said, the numbers are still low. He's like, man, it's consistently low now, man. And like I told him, my treasure good with them numbers. He keeping up with it. So now I'm confused. I'm like, man, maybe people just don't want to play no more. He was like, man, the buzz is all over the compound. People playing and hitting, the people playing and losing, but they always working, trying to figure out numbers. They, they having dreams. They doing all of this whole kind of stuff coming up with these numbers. People want to play. People want to play. So now, I said, okay, this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to put the word out on the compound. If you're playing the numbers, the only people you can turn your tickets into is these people. And the, if you do that, then the folks is going to pay you. Anybody else you turn your ticket into, folks ain't got nothing to do with that. So when we did that, it didn't take two days before people started coming and said, man, is it straight I still get my ticket to LJ and Big Mac? So how long you been getting it to them? Been getting it to them for about two months now. There it is. Why you been giving it to them? They told us to give it to them only, period, point blank. 
But when you came out, you know what I'm saying, and the brothers is saying that if you don't give your ticket to these individual brothers, you know what I'm saying, that wasn't nobody going to get paid, then I got spooked. So the dude come telling us all this and that. I'm like, okay, then. Dig that. I said, man, we'll holler at you. You straight turn your ticket in to folks now. You know what I'm saying? Not LJ and Big Man, but turn it in to young folks now, and everything will be cool from here on out. So good. We seeing what it is. They lied. So I tell folks, I said, you know when I told you that if they got caught lying, they had to go. I don't even want them being the folks no more. My number two was like, yeah. I said, but this is what we're going to do first. We're going to write folks in them on the town first. Because, see, we got to find out what deck they're using to run these numbers. So I called a girl, you know what I'm saying, that got Nash for you. I'm hollering at him. And I said, man, can you find out? He said, let me check and see. Let me check around. So he calling everybody, and he find out. He find out. They don't want to all wear Chattanooga. They in Chattanooga running. They ain't even got the girl down there doing it. They got some other brothers down there doing it. They just going for anybody that they knew. And like I said, they've been around a long time, so they know a lot of people. So they can get it done if they really want to get it done, you know. I just went through the girl because I wanted to secure the down in case something go wrong. We got the full power of the family to rectify You see what I'm saying? You got to secure you down like that when you're doing this kind of stuff. You feel me? So now, now that I know the business, I have big folks on the town call folks in chat town and say, look, I need you to cut that off. Cut that water off over there because we losing money on this end. So now folks in Chattanooga say, well, can we get some of the money? I said, we'll work on that another time. But right now I need you to cut that off. Cut that off. That folks them ain't doing that. We got some folks lying, man, on Larry, talking about they not doing what they doing. And they doing it. We finna put these folks in violation. We finna strip them, man. So ain't nothing they doing is legit no more, man. They, they enemies of the fam. And that's what it's gonna be, because we finna get them. So folks them say, GD that, man. We don't do business with brothers like that. Even though, you know, I know. You know, folks in, don't care nothing about being shy. They just don't want to get caught. You feel me? These brothers got caught. So when we get LJ and Big Mac in the room and we talking to them, we trying to explain, being nice about it because they're old. And they can't take what's going to come. We trying to explain to them, look here, man. It's over with. And on top of that, everything you got, we want it. They belong to GD now. I said, while y'all up here right now, I got folks in the middle cell taking everything. When you get back down, you ain't even have a TV. We taking everything, man. And you finna leave here. You going to the back. And you ain't the folks no more. The only reason I'm going to spare you from this physical getting your pumpkin head is because I, you, I know you can't take it. I know you can't take it. But then I, I stood up and I said, you don't get away for free, though. But keep in mind, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I feel bad about what I'm finna tell you. I feel bad about what I'm finna tell you. All right? But it is what it is. The business is the business. So I reached back real fast. Pow, pow. Smack both of them before they could even move. Smack both of them hard as I could, right? They jump up, they ain't no suckers. But then I got that mob behind me. Folks them say, sit down. I'm just staring at them. But my folks behind me, they saying, sit down. So they both sit down. Cause they know what it is. They know what it is. It's over. The gig is up. You ain't got nothing coming in here, man. Playing no games. So I tell them, get up out of here, man. Get up out of here. Y'all know what it is, man. You ain't nothing to me. I better not hear nothing about you nowhere. And we done already let everybody know all across the state. We done let folks them know on the town, man. You ain't straight. So I'm looking at him, man, and look. Now I'm going to keep it real, too, because I always keep it real. I'm keep it real, too, about this part. I'm looking at them, and I can see it, because they've been folks for a long time, man. And they probably done some shy stuff. Who ain't as the folks? You feel me? 
And for half a second, it might have been less than that, maybe a millisecond, I looked at them because they looked at me. And I kind of regretted going that far with it, but I had to stand my ground. You know, not even stand your ground. I had to stand my ground. Because if I let them get away with that, I gave them a chance the first time. You know what I'm saying? When they're trying to skim money. But if I let them get away with that, I said bad precedent. I know that sounds weird coming from somebody, you know what I'm saying, when I was in rotation. Now, keeping in mind, I'm speaking back when I was in rotation. I know that's weird coming from a gang member saying setting precedent. You know what I'm saying? Using such big words, right? But that's what it was. I didn't want anybody else to think that if the fam is doing something, getting money, that you could go against the fam. If you go against the fam, then that blue wave is coming to see you. That's just dead on that. Blind, crippled, crazy, young or old, it don't matter. Everybody can get it. You done heard me say that before. And I meant that for LJ and Big Mac. Get to the back. That's what it is. And I hated it, but it had to be done. It had to be done, y'all. But I'm going to tell you something. If you think the story ends right there, you're wrong. You're wrong. You don't understand human nature if you think the story ends right there. Because it's one thing that I learned about human nature. Everybody, everybody wants their lick back. Everybody. And they'll find a way, right or wrong, to get that lick back. And sometimes when a person is trying to get that lick back, they throw knockout punches. I'm talking about haymakers. Real time, I got you now, sucker. Licks, man. I'm telling you. But I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to tell you about that in the next episode. How they try to get their lick back. You feel what I'm saying? But before I go, once again... Rivals is coming out August the 1st, y'all. Get that thing, man, on jtb3.org. Go to Boo's website and get this book, man. Me and Boo collaborated on this thing, like I said, to fill in some blanks, Stop talking about some things that you may not have heard on the podcast when I did that. Come on now, this father and son is gaming. This is about generational gang violence. This book is as real as it gets. Ain't nothing out there like this. You can't watch nothing on TV that's as good as this book. So check this thing out, right? For real, y'all. I'm asking you for your support on this, right? Me and Boo both. This has been another episode of Doing Time with Joe. I'm your host, Joe Baker, and I say peace, y'all.